Dos, dos cafe con leche. Um, you want a croissant? Y dos colacao. This is quite the little treat here, isn't it? It is. I don't know if this is. I think they have breakfast in the restaurant, maybe too, but I don't. They, they do. They I don't do. want to commit to sitting down no, for no. half an hour. We are at this point do doing something we have not yet done before. Wow, that we're having breakfast in our. So basically, what's what's happening is this: we are we're breaking up the days into what we think are manageable uh, days for the, ourselves, for the kids, for the work environment, for everything. We took a day off last week, actually, after day seven. We're on like day eight now of walking without a break. Now, when we originally planned this, if you guys been watching, you know that we planned on originally doing like six days and then a day off, and then six days and then a day off, and six days and a day off. We haven't because everyone wants to get into the groove of walking. To keep that alive, we're just gonna do this instead. We're, instead of doing six days day off, we're gonna do seven days and then a half day, and then seven days and a half day, and maybe five days and a half day, and if we need a day off, then we'll take a day off. Today is a half day, so we're gonna indulge ourselves just a little bit, and we're gonna have breakfast right here because we can, and today's an overcast day, and we, today we have a big climb up. Uh, it's like about a 300 meter climb, or at least that's what the app says. That's Zoom. What do you need, Jess? Um, naranja. No, orange juice. Yeah, but it's not Ugo. It's, how do you say it? Zuma? Sumo. Sumo. Yeah. Sumo. Like sumo wrestling. Exactly. That's how they make my orange juice. <laughs> they squash it. Did you want an orange juice too or not? No. Not like, not like that. <laughs> Ready to go, Laura? It's going to be a fun day, you know that? It's going to be a hectic day. <coughs> it's a mountain climbing day, Largo. All the time you wasted here will never come again if only some All right, we have feeling good for my 10 kilometers. Easy day. Um, 10. Yeah. So 15. Wow. Oh, 15? Wow. How many miles is that? 12 kilometer, what changed while I was in the bathroom? Would you, you better not go to the bathroom. <laughs> we're, we're, we're kidding. We're, we're no longer going 12, we're going 15. We're going to hike into Morocco. And That's if you if you leave us again, we're going 20. <laughs> <laughs> True talent never shows. It's easier to fool the ones you know. Day 14. Um, it's a short day for us. We're, the debate is out between 10 and 15 kilometers. We're making progress. Everyone's happy. We're going to... Where are we going, Well, Someone, <laughs> something or other. Guys, I know we've said this before. We have the guidebook. The trail is packed with people. No, we are not super well planned. We checked, we checked the altitude, the incline. Um, we check the mileage we're going to go, possibly what city we're going to go to. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we wing it. Sometimes we talk to people. That's just how we roll. But we're having a great time doing it that way. So whatever works for you. If you need to plan it to a T, then do it. Because you guys are really helpful <laughs> to those of us who don't plan. But if you want to see me there, just hold on to the notion of my heart. There are people that are following Will you ever sing out loud? Will faces start? Day 14, how'd you guys sleep last night? Pretty perfect. Nice, actually. Perfect. We had no squeaky beds, mm -hmm. and for one euro you could rent a blanket, and after the night before, I think I would have paid 10 euros for mm -hmm. a blanket. Right, ladies? Yes. Did you guys oh, rent a, did you yes. rent a blanket? The blankets were amazing. Yeah, <laughs> High point of my we day. Were, I know, I know. We feel like we could conquer anything today now. Yeah. All right, so we slept well. Um, any aches and pains today? No. Feet and hips. That's Feet it. and hips? No Nothing? Aches. No, I have to say, I think my feet are going to continue to hurt the whole time. You think time. it's, I think, I think my feet are probably going to hurt the whole time at different levels as well. The well, thing any exit pains? I mean, oh, sorry, go ahead. When I woke up, my feet were like, I felt like I couldn't even walk on them. Mine felt like, like oh that too. My God. Yeah, that's too. And then they got better once I started walking. I think we're having too much sugar during the day. What does that have to I, do with I our read feet? it causes tremendous feet pain. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> well, no matter what, we can't have five ice creams in one day. Yeah, yeah. that was just an exception because that uh -huh. was a long day. Well, how are you feeling today? I am feeling a thousand percent better after that wonderful night's sleep. It is amazing. You know, it's hard to sleep with a, in a room with other people. 
but you really need that sleep on the trail. And you get used to and it. And the days, you do get used to sleeping with other people, but the days where you have a really bad bed or no blanket or it's freezing, Horrible. the next day, you are so <laughs> grateful for a great night's sleep and a blanket. That was probably the best blanket we've had on the trail so yeah, far, don't you yep, think? Yeah, I agree. Well, except I for maybe loved... in that room where we had each well, other you know room with two beds. So oh yeah, nice. that was nice too. I stole the blanket. No, you didn't. It's in my bag. That's hilarious. Let's run, quick. They're coming, Surprise. they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going ahead of San Juan? We don't know yet. Has it been established? Make up your mind. We now. haven't decided where we're going to go yet. Maybe Emma, we should you go all choice. the way to Santiago today. <laughs> what would your choice be? Um, I go all the way to Santiago. Today? Yeah. You think we can make it in what, three days if we walk straight? I know, if we take a car, we could probably take it in two hours. <laughs> Seriously, it makes me feel like so crazy when I see that it could take us 19 minutes to get to where we're going when it takes us like three hours to walk there. I think it even takes us longer than that. 19 minutes by car, <laughs> three hours by walk. But do you feel stronger? Mm, I guess. Do you feel peaceful and mindful and happy? Yes. I heard you singing on the trail yesterday. No, I didn't. I did. I was? Yeah. You were singing. I love my mommy yep. and, and my daddy. There's the proof that I didn't do it. <laughs> so we are, we're climbing over what is from where we're starting off a Via Franca Montesioca, going all the way to someone, whatever it's called. I'd like to talk, but I'm huffing and puffing too much. It's all uphill Hi, and it's up the Montesioca mountain range. And how do you know all this? Because I read it in the guidebook, which we don't look at, but I looked you're at You're reading, you're cheating on me, you're reading Stop. the guidebook. All right, anyway. <laughs> so this mountain range is known for back in the day. Everything's back in the day because Oh, this is where wasn't the pirates today. came, right? It's or where like, yeah, the thieves the were hanging out. And they would come here and they would like raid and pillage all of the pellegrinos. You think that's gonna happen to us? I, I know they can walk away with like a drone and a camera. I'm gonna say this now because hopefully we'll be far in the trail and no bandits will be around, but we are caring about. Let's stop. Don't even say. <laughs> it's, it's not just that, it's the memories of all the hard drives what we have. What we're too. carrying is worth more than our lives at this point. <laughs> we, we do cherish our memories a lot. <laughs> Saw you down the motorway. There was something about you that day. I can still hear the shimmering sound. Hill is near, let's get right up Walk up to the very top We couldn't tell the sky from the ground Mother and daughter, and you guys, well, they're the only mother and daughter team we've seen so far, aren't they? Yes, at this age. At this age, so <laughs> we're gonna stay your age yes. because That's she's okay. 72 oh, and she's <laughs> way ahead of us. I am impressed. So are you naturally just active in general? Very. Yeah, I'm very active. And did you train for this? Well, I trained a little bit, but because I have that sciatica, I had right. to stop activities for four months. And, but when you started this, did you find it challenging? Like for like people like Will and I, it was really challenging because we, were, we were, hadn't trained? Or just, was it just a natural progression? Even though you had that lag time, was well, it still a natural progression or did you feel weaker? The first day, I was like, this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> I was thinking, and I was thinking, oh, this is wonderful. See, if I had met you then, I would have thought, oh, I'm so jealous, because I'd be in the ball crying for my mommy, but then you have mommy right there, right? <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy's like, come on, you can do it. Well, I mean, I'm assuming there's some bonding reason for doing this, but is there another reason why you guys are hiking the Camino? What shall I go? Here you go. Well, I've had a file on the Camino, my little filing cabinet for between 10 and 15 years. So this I've, has been a dream for a while. Yeah, I've booked it before. And for me, it really is um, about partly, uh, a lot of it is going closer to God and having that journey. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, <laughs> as, a, as when I probably started thinking about it, I was in my late 50s. I'm now in my early 70s. Um, I'm, I'm thinking more of the end time of my life right. than I was then. Now, have you, I know you've <laughs> Sorry, to say only that. been on, no, but no, that's, everyone has their own why, right? Yeah, now, you've been on the trail for what, a couple, like a week and a half from now, or two weeks? Yeah, I think we're on day 10 or 11. More than how, are, you, are you feeling closer to God? And I if so, how is that, how is that translated? 
So what's, that's interesting because really, maybe with the problems we had at the beginning, because we were going to cycle. Yeah. Um, and then we were not cycling. And I mean, I'm very happy that we were walking. Um, I really have not found it to be a spiritual pilgrimage at this point in time. Do you think so, that comes along the way? Because that, that's kind of how, like when we're talking with people, they say you, it really, you have to kind of go through the whole process and then you arrive at this, whatever is going yeah. to change you, if, if anything changes you, towards the end. Mm -hmm. What I've found is that life gradually, you know, the, the life that you know, and I've, this last nine months has been a very, a lot of uh, difficult things happened mm -hmm. in, our, in my life. So I have found that that's all drifted away. You know, that's what happens when you go away from yes. home for a while. Yeah. So I have found that each day I'm letting that drift away a bit more, which is nice. I would um, agree with you on that. I think that's happened yeah. to us as well too. And probably most people. Yeah, and, and they yeah. do say that some of the problems that we have, you know, are just stresses of our life. Mm -hmm. And once we change our life a little bit, things kind of dissipate. Yeah. Now, how about you? Why are you hiking it? Um, well, personally, I knew that my mom had dreamed about doing it. Oh, you're a good daughter. Uh, <laughs> and she, I knew she didn't want to do it alone. Um, and I usually only have summers off, like I, I teach. Right. But this year I've been subbing, so I kind of said, I have the time. I mean, yeah. But I think, I mean, to me, it's wonderful to be doing it with my daughter. I couldn't think of anybody else I'd rather do it with because yeah. we get along well. Yeah, and that's great. We, you guys are going to make me cry. I think <laughs> we'll never be the same after that day. You wrap me around your fingers and you stay. I don't ever want to be alone again. In spite of all, you're my best friend. Largo, we, we are going so fast today. This is our fastest journey that we've done in the entire, the entire Camino so far. Well, the reason is because I know we're gonna stop early and I'm using up all my energy now. You are? We're thinking at, we're thinking at this point that we can probably go a little further since we're so far ahead. No! Sharp right. Avalon, how far until our destination? I don't know. We are... We have decided at this point that since we left, we actually, even with our late start, we would actually get to our destination by like 10.30 in the morning. Now, albergues don't open until about 1 p.m. And um, we feel like we're on a really good roll. Right we now it's like- We can get lunch in 17 minutes. We can get lunch in 17 minutes, but nothing's open It'll because be 10 it's 10.40 in the morning. So can that wouldn't work. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's 56 degrees right now, which makes it about like 14 degrees Celsius, which is perfect hiking weather. The, the sun's actually covered up by the clouds and we are cooking. So we think we're gonna go like an extra six kilometers to a town that sounds like Acapulco, which I know it's definitely not that, but I think we may just go that far. At the puerta. Okay. I say we take a little break here and get the kids a little more to eat because they didn't have much for breakfast and then proceed on. Right? But I'm flexible if the, anyone in the family wants to do something different. Because then that would make the day to Burgos only 18 kilometers and very doable and not a hard day at all. I'm fine with that. What do you kids think? Fine. Largo, what do you think? What? We're going to go to the water park, Largo. What? We're going to the water park. What do you mean by water park? <laughs> Let's have a family talk about it when we stop for the snack then. Okay. So let's talk about the women of the Camino. There are a ton of women walking this Camino. Oh, single women, women with you know their friends, um, women by themselves, women in groups, and just like yesterday, how we talked about with the two friends who are roommates who was walking with a pack of 10. There's this great mother-daughter duo that we ran into. It is so powerful and so engaging to see so many women just hanging out and doing this. We're just having a little conversation here about what it's like to be a woman on the trail. And some of you guys might say, I don't even notice. And then others might be, well, this weird guy came up. So have you had any experiences or how do you feel 
about being a woman on the trail. And I know you two are traveling together. You yeah. two met on the trail. Yes. You're with your husband. I'm yes. with my husband. So none of us are traveling completely solo except for you came alone. Yes. All right. So do you have some any thoughts on this? I actually planned for a whole year with a friend to do the Camino. She got injured and I ended up by myself. But I find the Camino such a soul blessing way and you find your soulmate. Were you worried about coming alone? Were you nervous at all? No. No. Because uh, now the world, women are very empowered. And yeah. I feel that you translate what you are. Right. And I didn't feel insecure just one day. Right. And, I, <laughs> and it kind of, it's kind of annoying to me that I even have to say this because why should we feel differently than a man on right. the trail, right? right. I mean, and, but, but I will say that I've gotten a lot of emails and messages from people saying, I'm gonna do it alone, is it safe? And the same thing I got when we were traveling in Morocco. Is it safe for a woman? So I think it's really important to discuss this. Is any, did anyone else have any fears or reservations about coming as a female? Well, I, I know oh, that I'm so gonna, sorry. I know I'm going to walk a Camino by myself sometimes. So I did, I did part of it like for four miles and sure enough, I got lost. <laughs> So we're not saying that all females get lost, but <laughs> but and you know what? I was walking, and I was thinking, okay, I don't see the arrow. I started getting nervous, but not nervous because I was, oh, somebody's going to attack me. It's just that I knew I was lost, and then finally, when I talked to my husband, I found the way. <laughs> you, guys, you always find the way on the way, right? And, you know, but I feel very, very um, happy, and I'm not afraid. I think girls can do anything. I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. I am totally with you. How about you ladies? Um, I think the only time I felt a little nervous was actually last night when I was watching the soccer game and I'd gone down with some people and uh, one of the guys had left and I realized I was like in a pub <laughs> surrounded by people I did Going, not know. Yeah. <laughs> Who may not have been cheering for my football team. <laughs> it was all men and like me. I was like, oh. It was so funny. I got very scared. That's the only day I was very alone because I, I stopped at San Domingo and it was Mexico playing Germany. I'm like, I've seen a lot of Germans. And I'm like, <laughs> I got out of the hostel and paid a hotel. I People get very it. passionate about And I'm sports. like, I'm going to go watch the match of Mexico. So I'm in the lobby by myself. I'm like, go oh, Mexico! And I'm like, good, there's no Germans. Because <laughs> I'm the only girl and there's a lot of Germans. Right, right, crowds. right. Any reservations or anything, or any thoughts about being a female on the trail? Well, I think that I haven't done it for the last 10 years because I didn't want to come along. Okay. And I didn't have anyone to do the whole thing with. So, otherwise, it's actually, I think it's a lot easier for a woman to be on the trail on her own than I had thought it would be. Mm -hmm. my, my, my feeling was when I went to the Albergs, how did I go and have a shower and stuff? And there's yeah. no one to look after your stuff. So, so, there's five of us here and four of us are traveling with someone else. So the four of us that are traveling, or, or came with someone yes. else. Would you do this on your own after being here and experiencing and seeing the safety and every, and every, how friendly everyone else? Would you do it alone? Would you do it alone starting at that end? I think so, yeah. Yeah? Would you do it alone now knowing what you know? No. Okay. Would you, knowing what you know now, would you have done it alone 10 years ago? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're doing it alone, even though you're meeting people. Well, how about maybe. you? Not maybe. Not quietly. <laughs> yeah. well. I would, I would do it alone. I would definitely do it And alone. I would do it alone too. <laughs> We made it Largo, San Juan de Ortega. <laughs> and it is still like breakfast time. Because we got about an hour left? Though? Well, yeah, if we're not stopping here, we have an hour left. I think if we're out here in 15 minutes, an hour, we're still there by noon. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because, I mean, so we, no, no one will let us we, in at this point. This is where we're going to stop. Though, right? This is where we're going to stop. No, I see the keep going. Yeah. All right, so we're now leaving San Juan de Ortega. Uh, uh, we're heading to, where are we heading to? What, what's going on? The, I think my blister just did something. Your blister that we just, uh, we just uh, took care of? 
hurts. Okay, we gotta we gotta we take gotta a pause. Stop for a one, one, stop. one second. Uh -huh. Is it? Oh, the blister just broke. We actually have a real problem here now. Just because um, with, with after just putting the compete on, what just happened? I just it just felt like a knife was sticking in my foot, and I think I think I need to cut the compete. I think because it's between two toes, I didn't really have a good one to really go between my toes. And I know they make all shapes and sizes, but I wasn't gonna buy every single one of them. And so I think because of that, I put one in there that didn't fit too well. And now it's, I don't know, now it's kind of gnarly. So what I'm gonna do, which I should have done way back then, was cut the compede to fit my toe. All right, this is gonna be a challenging spot for the compede. I think we're, this is gonna need some, some work as the time goes on. Here I thought, way back when that I was not gonna get a blister at all. Cause I didn't get one until, what day do we get our blisters on? Well, day nine? Day, uh, day I don't, eight, day nine. I don't remember, but I, I can't believe. And Will, you said, I'm never gonna get any blisters. I got one. Look at us, we're such naive hikers. That's okay. Now I've got three and I didn't even feel the other two. That's good though, at least you can still walk. <laughs> I can't, oh my gosh. Why, do you think that not walking is a possibility? We saw people. We did see people. We did see people that couldn't walk. You're right. And that had started and had to take, on day three, had to take four or five days off. Hi, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. We had to Bye. take a, a blister break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> blister break, yep. I know how that goes. <laughs> and we we're now in Ajes Ages. We thought we were going to, I, I, I don't even know what the name of the town is. Oh, you're right, Avalon. It's we're considering on staying here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have people know. we know here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, I don't know, Jess, do you want to stay here? I guess, There's, I guess, yeah. There, there might be a cool community thing going on tonight. Not restaurant, but there's a cute That restaurant looks cute, too. Okay, well, they have to choose. Oh, they have to choose. Well, 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 they have to choose. In my sleep. This feels almost like an old firehouse or something. I don't know. I like it. I like it too. It feels like, a, like yeah, we could exercise here. and hang off the rafters in here. Day 14. In the books. All done. Whoa. Did you catch him? I did. As you were saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> New talents every day. All right. How many kilometers did we go today? Today we went. We started Four. off thinking we we're going to go 12. Then we thought we were gonna go 18, and now we what finished we up at 15. 15. 15. And that is because we planned to we planned to walk a short day today and work the rest of the day, and we were gonna go a little bit further, but we saw these guys that we liked previously and spoke with. Um, you'll see them in one of the past videos, and we decided to hang out here with them, have lunch with them, and then work from here. That's the really cool part about the Camino, is that, you know, if you are not dead set on an end date. And I would say, this might be a good time to just say, Get, if you have the flexibility, give yourself a week extra than the 31 or 35 days or whatever you plan so you have the flexibility to stop. Whether you get injured. If your body or hurts or if you meet people you want to hang you out with. You want to sort of see a town for an extra day. Because we meet a lot of people who are sitting at the table with their guidebook at dinner going, oh my gosh, we only have 31 days, we only have 35 days, we've got to do this, we got to do that. And it seems really stressful. And I know people can only get so much time off from work, but try and factor in an extra week if you can. Right. So the, all that being said, what did we spend today? We spent... We went over budget, right? We went, yeah. I mean, essentially, since we didn't see a grocery store within sight anywhere, we basically were reliant on restaurants, Yeah. which luckily in Spain, it's not that expensive, but we spent about... 135 euros today. I mean, so we went way over budget today. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, no, we're eating more than we typically do because we're exercising so and much. And the kids so are eating a lot of ice cream. So that's all of our of money our is going to pleasures. food. Yeah. We're definitely spending more on food than we are on housing. We try, we try to keep our housing between seven and ten euros a night, and and, and that's it, that is totally viable. It's totally possible. But not only that, but I love the story about the women. That was that was honestly yeah. for me the most most interesting. Yeah, part and I of the think day. we're gonna do. I think we should interview some more. So I mean, some real. There was only one woman in our group that was a solo hiker, and she didn't intend to be because her friend got hurt. But there are a ton of single solo females mm -hmm. in their 20s and 30s. So I think we need to get their perspective on it. Yep. You know how they feel about hiking alone and everything. That's enough. You wrapping it up? Yes. Am I talking too much? A lot. Okay, time to time to end this thing. See you guys next time. Subscribe, comment, tell your friends. Buen camino. Buen camino. Bye. Oh my god, you're right.
Tres, tres cosas. It's too early, I just ordered the French. <laughs> <laughs> we 